Upland hunting is not about birds for me, it's about dogs. Training a puppy takes a lot of boot leather, nerves and time. But when it all finally comes together and your dog freezes on point, time stops. And that's the best feeling ever. Technically, it's Coda's second season, however, the previous one doesn't count. He was still too much of a pup. Now, when he is more of a teenager, it's time for his actual first hunting season. It's time to hit the road. Honestly, it was a bit nerve-wracking. Whether my shooting skills, if we're actually gonna see any birds, and finally dogs work. Oh, Scotty is gonna show himself. I spent the last 12 years hauling bird dogs in the fields and in the woods. But as for Coda, this will be my first time hunting in the prairies. We were after birds, however, not only birds, favor local fields and coolies, and we were about to learn that. Go to frozen point, my heart's racing, I approach him expecting a bird to flush, nothing. I start stomping around, still with no success. Suddenly I hear behind me, Cody explodes like a lotus spring, launches himself at his quarry, throwing it in the air, following up with another attack. And this is how we met a porcupine. As much as you can from the mouth. And now we're heading to the vet because not all wells got out that easy. Did not know at the time it's common to count the quills, so I didn't, but I would estimate it was definitely more than 100. Hunting was done for the day and but I got a few more scars. Dogs bring it together with incredible people. There's a strong camaraderie in gun dog community. It actually blows my mind how many times I've reached out to people who I never met before and next day we're hunting or training dogs together. It's amazing. You could see Koda catching the scent going down that hill and freezing on point. Steve walks in to flush the bird, turns around proclaiming it's a skunk, and as he does that, Koda breaks the point. Again? Uh, 
next few days would stink. If not for a couple who stopped by to have a chat and happened to have a skunk solution with them. Another great example of how great gun dog community is. Guys, if you're watching, thank you. What you doing? You wanna wait to tell him or <laughs> I will tell him right now. Um, I'm washing coda. We have magic solution that's uh, we got a little bit of an adventurous afternoon. Uh, we got skunk. skunk. Literally. Upland hunting is more about the process than the game. Beauty of working together with your dog is what drives me. All these training hours you put in, successes, failures, challenges, all the miles driven, it's all worth it. And no matter how many times it happened before, when your dog points, time stops again. Maybe you even get the privilege to shoot the bird. Hey, yes, go boy! Good job, Upland! Yes, 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 go boy! Yes, yes, go boy! Go boy, yes! Not all gun dogs are created equal. Besides certain characteristics of each and every breed, every dog has a unique personality, style of work and develops at a different pace. It creates a lot of challenges, but this is also what makes it so much fun to hunt with a dog that you've trained. Two roosters flushed. And one of them. We got him. Yeah. 